Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Money Factory. All right, so here we are today in episode 15. So last episode we finished up the AE2 setup essentially here in the new base. And between episodes, I did a little bit of preparation for what we're going to do today. I also moved over the steam grinder for the time being. We'll be using this until we get better maceration. I also have a hammer here, but I'm probably going to be making a LV or medium voltage hammer at some point. Nothing new over there. I did get the pyrolyzed oven moved over and let's get rid of this. Okay. So... I'm just gonna jump down here. I did set up a water system here. So we have a heater, which just makes, you know, water into steam, and that is feeding up there. So also have a aqueous accumulator back here. So that's how we're getting water. Oh yes, I also made emmy conduits, as you can see here. And I've rewired things to be more clean. They kind of branch out to each of these rooms. Now, I don't know if this is a texture bug right here, the, the pink, but uh, hopefully that gets fixed at some point. And uh, yeah. Uh, did I do anything else down here? There is this capacitor bank that I moved here. I hope that this works how I think it works, that the power from the ME will buffer any here and vice versa back into the controller. Uh, do, do, do. I don't think there's anything too else. There's nothing major going on down there. Um, I did make another tower of power here. I did get chemical reactors, a distillery, two distilleries, and a brewery because we're going to be working on making the sugarcane farm today to get polyethylene going. Okay, and uh, nothing new there. I think that's about it for the big change, for the big developments since day prior or episode prior. All right. So I know I was preparing other things. Oh, yes. I was preparing the SNAD off camera. So the pulsating crystal, once again, is pulsating iron with a diamond pulsating iron is a matter of pulsating dust and iron all right so let's go ahead and get three of these i also prepared some redstone conduit now i'm hoping this still works the way i think it works okay so we're gonna need sugar cane before that though do we have the block breaker <laughs> Mm. I don't think we have the block breaker that I am used to. We might have to work with using these. Which, if that's the case, I think it will be fine. Um, I'm pretty sure the block I used to use was called Breaker. Interesting stuff there. Yeah, that would make sense. If we don't have the mod, if you don't have the item in the mod that I think it was in, then yeah that won't work okay so let me do this wait mm. let me jump into a creative world and i'm gonna see how slow this lv block breaker is we might want to do medium voltage but uh yeah give me just a moment and i will be right back all right, so turns out things have changed since what I'm used to. For one, I don't think the block breaker was going to be the block 
that I thought it was. In fact, if I look at the usage for this thing, wait. Huh? Wait, what am I thinking of? Hold on. Obsidian. Oh, rock breaker. Oh, there's those block breaker and this rock breaker. And, okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I was doing some testing in single player. And I just couldn't seem to find a good enough solution to... Wait, what? Okay, I don't know. I couldn't find a good enough solution to the sugar cane farm. I mean, technically, I would have had to use pistons and a redstone clock and all that. But I figured, why not go with a um, greenhouse? So, this is probably super temporary on placement of this. I might dig out another section to dedicate uh, room for greenhouses. Oh goodness, it goes back. So, blast furnaces. Oh, I just realized. I'm gonna have to move the pyroblast oven as well. Because if I want to do blast furnace while sharing, then I'm gonna have to do that. All right, well, things will change. But for the time being, we have sugarcane now. So what we want to do is we're going to come over here to our brewery. And I do still need to get... Oh, I thought I... Didn't I make an aqueous accumulator? I did make something. I thought... Oh, yeah, I made the aqueous accumulator for the pyrolyze oven. Okay. On that note, though, I am curious. I don't think there's another way to generate water right now. Save for the Greg Tech water cover, water facade. But, yeah, I don't think we're there yet. Okay. Now you guys see how here's the water source quest. Okay. Um, conduit. We still don't have a means of item. But, no, I don't need the item conduits right now. I need the fluid conduits. Which I have right here. And then we're going to need fluid filters, which right here. So I don't know. I'm going to say I'm going to need about 12 of these. Now, can we make the bucket and the bender? Ooh, nice. Okay. So that'll be a lot easier. Oh my gosh. I have no idea why it's, it's it still seems to favorite this. There we go. That's weird. Anyway, um, I'm going to need to get more paper. Which, unfortunately, I don't have the bath yet. And that would probably be, probably be a good thing to go with. And I might just go and make that off camera, actually, now that I think about it. Let's see here. Do I have a drum? I don't know where I put that water drum. Is it right? No, nope, not there. Okay. Um, give me a second. I'm gonna I don't know how that map got there. I need to fix that. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I am going to probably get those water filters and get some other things going and i will be right back all righty we are back again 
so I got some filters here. And I had to do some jank setup because we are not at the point of having AE2 to automate this process. And I still need item conduits, but although they're not as needed for this process. In any case, I had the water ocu the aqueous accumulator here is sending water into our brewery. And I did make this in such a way that if I want to add more breweries, I can do that and then pipe up and fluid pipe up. Okay, so Ender.io is a bit goofy again and that I have to, there's no gears like there used to be here. So I can't just like click that and then drag a fluid in. I have to use buckets. So that's unfortunate. That being said, we have water, we have sugarcane, and we got biomass. So we got to wait until we get enough biomass. I think we can't drag fluid. Yeah, okay, it won't let me do the um, the click and drag thing. So that's a bit unfortunate. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the first bucket and then I'm going to like keep it somewhere nearby. And then we're going to set up these. So with biomass, we put that into a distillery and... That will give us ethanol. Uh, we're going to have to deal with pulp. Hmm. Could probably uh, do some sort of jank setup with a drawer or what have you. But we'll figure it out as we go along. Um, okay, so. The ethanol, oops, the bio, oops, biomass will become ethanol. And then the ethanol, ethanol will go, one second. Oh, wait a minute, did I forget? Uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Sulfuric acid. Oh no, I forgot about this process. The sulfur trioxide. Oh dear, dear, dear. Um all right, we're gonna need sulfur dioxide, we're gonna need oxygen. We're going to need this, but thankfully this dust makes it so we only need one of them. Okay, so we are going to need a couple more chemical reactors for this. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, so I got that biomass bucket now. So then if I wanted to do, oh, right click. Okay, there we go. So that, well, I made it so the, by opening up all of them in one hand, they're all set to biomass. So I want to make sure I fix that later. Okay. So insert. Then we want to extract, and that should go in there. Um, am I doing something wrong here? Is it the ah? Mm, no. Distillery, biomass, uh, oh, I don't have a wrench on me, or do I? Why is it, oh, that's stupid nonsense. 
active without signal. Okay, give me a second to figure this out. Alrighty, everybody. So, I was away for some time. And I was doing some thinking and some testing. One thing that was brought to my attention is that the AE2 interfaces handle fluids and items natively together. There's no fluid interface here. So then I got to thinking, oh shit, I can make it so I can just empty the fluids from my interfaces or from my machines into my AE2 system. All we need to do is make a fluid cell. Uh, and we're chuckling. That is not that expensive at all. Circuits, maybe some red alloy. Easy peasy. So then I got to thinking, oh crap, what am I going to do about the ethylene? Because, well, I did some digging and the ethylene... has a myriad of steps ethanol and sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid comes from oxygen and hydrogen sulfide or or, or sulfur trioxide which i believe i did this method in the last playthrough which again more oxygen more dioxide vanadium pentoxide but you only need one of those but then the sulfur dioxide you need oxygen and sulfur but then I found something interesting. Excuse me. Wood gas. Right? So you get, I think that's logs. Yeah, logs you put into the oven, you get wood gas. We take wood gas and we distill it into ethylene. We take the ethylene and we combine it with air. We get polyethylene. So the air can, we can get from a gas collector, which that is pretty sweet. I, I swear, this must be a new thing because that is amazing. I don't see any issues wrong with this method so far. So I'm hoping it will be just that easy. Now, the polyvinyl chloride, we need air and vinyl chloride. And the vinyl chloride, ethylene. Let's see, is there another... There's ethylene, hydrochloric, and oxygen. So the chlorine, if we were to do that route. Oh, I'm sure there's something to something to do with salt. But any case, we'll get to that in due time. Um, that being said, I am going to be using the rest of the time in this episode to get some ME interfaces to get some storage cells and then we I also want to show off this the workbench here so the cell workbench is going to allow us to put a cell in here and then this grid will light up and then we'll be able to say put an item or a fluid inside this grid and that will partition that cell to only hold that so when we get the fluids, or if we wanted to save space, we could just get the one 4K and stuff, whatever fluid we get in there. But I want to I want to get single cells. So if I'm not mistaken, for the time being, we really only need to worry about wood gas. Uh, I already forgot the process. So the wood gas and the ethylene, and then gas collecting air. So three fluids, I will most likely make another drive bay to hold more cells. So no need to worry about that for now. Uh, where was that? Where was that stupid assembler with the glue? There we go. Uh, boop, boop. Put that in there. So yeah, I've cooked up the logic processors needed for the ME interfaces, which is just a circuit, silicon, and a logic circuit. And for the face itself, hold on, let me do this. For the face, we need these cores, formation, 
in Annihilation, as long as a, as well as a hull, module, and some plates. So these are simple, just Fluix, Certus, Processor, Nether, Fluix, Processor. All right. So what are we waiting on right now? I think the that and yeah so now we need to get some certus okay so i'm going to cut here again and i'm going to come back when i have some of these as well and we'll see where we are on time i could probably start to set up these interfaces on the machines that I have right now, uh, depending if I have enough machines. I think the wood gas, so the wood gas gets distilled, check, and then the ethylene gets reacted, check, or um, at check, and then we need to make a, a gas collector, so we'll need that. But then once we get the polyethylene, we can solidify it into the sheets and then we can get the blank patterns. Now we still need to get cores, the crafting cores for all that, but this was one problem that I hyper focused on or one quest that I hyper focused on. So I want to get these things quickly so I can start auto crafting and make my life easier. Okay. So auto crafting quest right here, it's telling us that we're going to need a CPU, crafting storages, co-processing units, monitors, all these things. And here, let's see, where's the molecular assembler quest? I know there's the extended one. Pattern provider interface. Yeah, I guess I kind of forgot they mentioned that fluid type and buckets and items in there which is nice um yeah okay so we'll get into that uh right so i have the certus i have some redstone i need to get something charged and uh yeah i only need about eight charge certus cores here and sometimes this takes forever to charge i don't know why okay i will again pause here and i'll be Back in a few. Alrighty, we are back. So I went ahead and I made the fluid cells here. And I couldn't seem to find a fluid terminal in, in NEI. So I'm beginning to think items and fluids are essentially, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Normalized together? That might not be what I'm looking for exactly, but. Where did my... Here it is. Okay. So let's just see how what happens here. So pyrolyzed oven. We want wood gas. So we need a five and log. Okay. Okay. So what are we missing? Um, let's see. Where is it? Wood gas. Burnable logs, five. Is it is it powered? Um, doesn't seem to be getting power right now. Okay, what the heck is going on? Come on. Okay, now it... What? What is going on? I don't have any cobble on me. Dang it.
It should. Damn it. Maybe break these. Okay, now it's get now it gets power. Okay, I don't know. Sometimes uh, you just gotta break it and replace it, I guess. Okay. So we come back over here. Okay, so it's gonna take a few seconds to get everything. Um. Okay, so. We're still going to need a gas collector, which I can probably set up maybe off camera. This episode kind of got away from me. Okay, so there is a bucket. We're going to come over here to our workbench and we're going to pop this in. Good. Okay. Left click set. Okay. Wait. Left click set. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Weird. So now that should be partitioned to the gas. We will get some cable. Okay, good. We're going to come over. I'm still getting used to where the AE2 room is. Okay, we're going to come over here. We're going to pop that in. We are going to come back over here. And let's see. Do, 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 do. So we put that there. And now you can see the gas is entering the interface. Okay. I did not bring conduit over here. That's probably in the main AE2. Okay. I'll have to like start bringing terminals down here to be able to easily access things. Okay. Um, of course, eventually I'll be making the wireless terminal. So yeah, I won't really need it so much. Um, Okay, where the uh, this is probably gonna be dirty, but I'll try to figure out a solution a little bit later. Okay, so there's no fluid now in that hatch. So let's go back up here. Oh my god, that is amazing. Okay, so that is pretty sweet. I guess while we have, well, okay, no, you know what? Um, do I have any pumps? I do. Okay. So while we're still on the episode here, let's come back over to our, uh, pumps or our machines here. All right. We're going to get rid of all this crap or most of it anyway. So with the wood gas, Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, we need to distill it. Right, okay. So we're going to pop that on there. Can I fiddle with that? There we go. So you can access the facade within this interface. That's pretty sweet. We're going to do import. We're going to do that and yes. Now, can I, no, we need that bucket back. Okay.
Okay, did I not... Okay. So that should take care of that. Let's get over back over here. I need to get another more elevators too. That would have definitely helped. Um I forgot to grab the bucket. That's one problem I'm gonna be having is not being able to shift click fluids. Unless there's a way that I just don't know about right now. There we go. Oh, wait, no. What's it doing? Ah, no! Uh, crap. Okay, so what did I mess up? Is it the... Oh, circuit needs to be two. Okay, I um, need to figure out how to get that out of there. We'll get a tank or something like that. Um, but yeah, you know what? How do I... Just think how to show off what I've done for today's episode. I guess we will do an item frame with the fluid cell. Okay, so yeah, this has been a bit of a rough episode. Um, next episode, we'll come back and I'll have items ready to get this polyethylene chain along. And uh, we'll probably start working on the auto crafting blocks as well. So the crafting storages, the molecular assemblers, that kind of good stuff. I don't know at this point if I'm going to need oil or... I mean, I, I know I'm going to need oil eventually. But in order to mine oil, we're going to need a drilling rig. And the cheapest one, I think, is this one right here. And this is pretty much what I did last time, I believe. So once we get oil, we can process that up. We can distill it. Eventually, we'll be able to distill in a tower and get everything all at once, but little by little. Okay, so I apologize if this episode was a little wonky. Um, You know, growing pains and all that, certain things I just can't access anymore or tricks and, tricks and the like that no longer work. That being said, uh, if you did like this episode, please leave a like or comment down below. And if you're not subscribed yet, Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next one. Ta-ta for now.